CTR's online play is currently busted. And yes, for those who are going to say, dude, it's always been broken. It's much, much more busted than it was before. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with a brand new CTR video. And yes, I'm finally back from my little holiday break and ready to get back to work. We have lots of plans for the channel, including launching a brand new channel. More details to come hopefully later in the week. But for now, let's get to the video. CTR Nitro Fueled is my favorite racing game, period. For me, it has so much depth of gameplay while still being straightforward. It also introduces interesting mechanics like the U-turn and the use of blue flame and many other mechanics. When Nitro Fueled, the CTR remake with so much more, launched, the game got massive praise across the board from critics and fans alike. However, there was one large complaint that the fan base had said, and it was the online play. Now, at first, the peer-to-peer -peer networking was definitely unstable and kind of terrible, but over time it did improve and got a lot better overall. Now, some have said that it was the worst online experience that they've ever experienced in a game, but to be honest, I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration. If you think that that was the worst online experience in terms of gameplay, then you didn't play the Master Chief Collection at launch. Trying to get into a game was equivalent to me trying to string a sentence together before actually having coffee. But recently, I started some sort of an ultimate showdown between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 between all the Crash and Spyro games. Now, I already released my first one recently comparing the Insane Trilogy between the two new consoles, and for sure you will see the rest of the Crash and Spiral remake saga come along throughout the month. In fact, this is where this video stemmed from. I was doing my usual testing and comparing and switched over to CTR. Everything was going fine in fact, everything was going great, until I decided to go online. This is when things began to fall apart. The first lobby I hopped into just didn't start. Everyone was on the track, but uh, no one was going. I couldn't pause the game, so I knew that it was soft locked. So I closed out the game. Now, this did happen sometimes before in the regular CTR when we played on the PlayStation 4, but then I hopped into another lobby and again, it's soft locked. I had to shut the game down again. I was streaming this to my Discord server with a full lobby, and they were all confused as to why this was happening. By the way, yes, we do have a Discord server that's free for anyone to join. Invite should be below. But this continued to happen until I finally got into a race. But it wasn't pretty. Most of the lobby disconnected and it was just me and a few actual racers. I knew the online wasn't the greatest for CTR, but this was ridiculous. What could possibly be happening? Was this an isolated incident, or could there be more issues arising for other users as well? So, I went to Twitter and my YouTube community tab asking if you guys had a PlayStation 5, and if you did, to test CTR online and get back to me and tell me how it went. What we got was a massive amount of people saying the exact same thing. People getting suspended in lobbies, disconnecting from the game, and a large portion, if not all racers disconnecting and racing nothing but CPUs. Some reported everything being A-OK, -okay, and some reported only a few issues. So I decided to do some personal testing. I brought two friends of the channel into an experiment. Spiral Universe, a friend of mine who runs one of the largest fan-led Spiral accounts on Twitter, and Just Shooter, a head mod for this channel. Just Shooter was playing on a PlayStation 4, and Spiral Universe has both a PS4 and a PS5, but started on his PS4 for this test specifically. We raced a total of 17 times in private and online matchmaking, and wow was it a mess. Out of the 17 races we had, there were only 3 races where nothing went wrong. Other than that magical 3, something always went wrong in those races. From mass disconnects, the lobby just not starting, track voting filling the screen with choices, and just a haywire number of other variable issues. <laughs> 
But in those 17 games of chaos, we started to find a pattern and we started to be able to replicate some of the errors that we found and we think we have found a general idea of what is happening. Now, of course, I am no software engineer and not a developer, so I might be wrong on all of this, but I think the problem actually lies in the PlayStation 5 itself. Or more importantly, CTR's online was not built with mixed console generations in mind. Let me explain what would happen. One feature for the next gen is being able to play with friends even if they have a previous gen console. So if let's say I played CTR with all my friends, but I was the only one who bought a PlayStation 5. If I popped the PS4 game into my PS5, I could still easily play with my friends who are still playing on the PlayStation 4. Or if I bought a PS5 and there is both a PS4 and PS5 version of a game, but all your friends have the PS4 and bought the PS4 version, you can still play together. It's a great feature. However, I think that some games were not exactly built for this feature. One of them being, well, you guessed it, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. See, if I was playing on the PS5 and I skipped the intro of an online race, eight times out of 10, the game would softlock disconnect a large portion of the lobby, or the game would literally just die, all because I hit skip on the intro. However, if I let the intro play through, the race would work about 70% of the time. But some disconnects were still a prominent issue. I was beyond baffled and confused by this, as why would such a simple action as skipping the intro would cause so many problems? Until Spiral Universe switched over to his PlayStation 5, and we had two more friends join us, Black Mage Maverick with his PlayStation 5, and Shoop the Whoop with his PlayStation 4. When I skipped the intro, most players got disconnected, including Just Shooter and Shoop the Whoop, which again, they were both in my party, but both playing on a PlayStation 4. Except for Spiral Universe, Black Mage Mavi, and of course, myself. We continued to test this and consistently, Spiral Universe and Black Mage and I would stay in the lobby and most if not all other players would get disconnected. So here is my hot take that is uneducated. So remember that I, I'm not a developer and I'm not a software engineer, so I might be wrong. But here is my guess. Skipping the intro in CTR on PS5 is massively increasing the likelihood of disconnects for PlayStation 4 users. The reason being is that the PS5 player can load into the race much, much faster than the PS4 user and it's causing issues for some reason. This is due to the fact that it's running on an NVMe drive. I'm not going to make a video talking about hard drive speeds and how they work, but the bare bones basics is that the NVMe drive in the PS5 is loads faster than the mechanical drives in the PlayStation 4, which is the generation the game was designed for. However, for some reason, when a PlayStation 5 user loads into an online match, skipping the intro causes problems for most drivers in the lobby, except for other PlayStation 5 users, because obviously they too have have the faster hard drive. If you don't skip, then you have an okay shot at getting a decent lobby of players, but disconnects are still a problem. Now, I still can't explain as to why sometimes when you don't skip the intro that people still disconnect, but I got a feeling it might, as I said, might have to deal with older hard drives. Mechanical drives tend to also slow down at a faster rate with age because of the multiple parts that move inside it. So yes, if I bought a PS4 yesterday and compare it to a PS4 from launch day, the newer PS4 would likely load a bit quicker in comparison to the original one. This variable might be an effect on whether or not you can connect into a lobby or not. Also, previous gen games can be held on external hard drives as well, which also could be another variable factor as they also slow down over time at likely a different rate from an internal drive. If the hard drive that CTR resides on is too slow, even if the PlayStation 5 player doesn't skip the intro, it might kick that player out of the lobby. With all these variable speeds with hard drives, along with the cross-generation play and the already not amazing peer-to-peer -peer online play, CTR Nitro Fueled seems to be struggling with keeping up to snuff with its online play for the next generation of consoles and really should be looked at and patched. The reason being is that this could 100% be used as an exploit 
for a majority of PS5 users. If they constantly skip the intro, they essentially could nuke a large portion, if not the entire lobby, ruining the experience for everybody involved. The funny part is, is that the PS5 user isn't even doing anything actively wrong. They're doing what a large majority of other racers do, and they might not even know why they can't seem to play without so many issues. And as more and more PS5s begin to roll out, the PS4 player base will dwindle more and more as the game will become borderline unplayable due to this issue on PS4, and of course I would assume between the Xbox One and the Series X. Now, of course, I might be a thousand percent wrong on what's wrong, but I'm not wrong on how bad the game currently is running online with the next generation of consoles. It's falling apart at the seams more now than it ever has before, and I really think it needs to be fixed ASAP. Activision, Beanox, if you are watching somewhere or hearing about this, please, I ask to take one more look at CTR before you move on. I know that you announced that you would not be supporting the game anymore. I get it. But if this problem could be looked into to make the online play even marginally better for both generations of consoles, I think the community would greatly appreciate it. Also, if this is an excuse to see if a 60 FPS and or a 4K option could be added for next gen consoles, I think that would bring even more players back. But that's just the cherry on top. The main focus I would like to see fixed is the online play. Have you been experiencing more issues than normal in CTR? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.